Hello everybody and welcome to another Tech Minute video. My name is Tom from Six Foot Networks and thank you for joining me in the office today. So we received an um, email from a viewer the other day specifically to a response on a previous video that we did. Actually it was a video that we aired on July 14th of 2020 during the pandemic on this channel and that video featured an introduction to the macOS Systems Integrity Protection feature or SIP. The question was is there a way to let a specific app through SIP on macOS, or is there a way to whitelist apps within SIP to allow them to run natively? The answer to that, no, not really. And for good reason too. So any app that has been signed by Apple was granted the appropriate entitlement to it so that it can effectively bypass SIP without issue. As such, that app would be authorized to modify any files or folders protected by SIP on install. That said, only Apple has the signing keys necessary to accommodate the granting process for applications to have the correct entitlement for that bypassing. This kind of entitlement is typically granted by Apple to macOS update and upgrade installers, which routinely modify system files with ease. Now, how does that translate? there are still locks in place that will prevent you or an app from modifying these folders, these system folders or, or files that are required for macOS to function properly. So if Apple were to grant the ability to bypass this, that would effectively also promote a potential loophole or a vulnerability that could be exploited by malware to do the same for those installers. So Apple did this to secure the ecosystem essentially. So how this works is that the entitlement is embedded in the code signature of that app, which is then verified at runtime. If you were to attempt to modify the app after the fact, so after you've had um, the code signature applied, that signature will no longer match which was entitled and then mac os will know that something went wrong from the original signing to now at runtime things are just not right so this would effectively thwart any potential malware or anything dangerous code or whatnot from controlling your system and installing itself potentially damaging your system in the end so if you enjoyed this video and found it useful in some way Please drop us a line in the comments and please give us a thumbs up by hitting the like button. If you really enjoyed this video, then please also consider subscribing to our channel as it does allow us to continue to make content like this for you down the road. In the meantime, good luck with everything in your day-to-day -day lives and thank you for watching.